and welcome to lesson one of Photopea. We're going to learn today the basics of how to use Photopea um, and one very special tool that it has called the brush tool. Now to access Photopea you type in Photopea into Google and then click on the link and it will load. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes. Once you're there I'd like you to go to file, new, looks a little bit complicated this and there's lots of things that you can do in this section which we'll talk about another time but for this particular um, project today I just need you to click create so it's as simple as that and what you'll be left with is a little canvas here that you can draw on. I'm going to learn how to use all of the different tools of Photopea over the course of the next few lessons but the very first tool that we're going to be looking at is along here and it's called there it is brush tool okay so once you've got Photopea open click on the brush tool choose it and then start having a little play about so I'm just drawing some little shapes um, I might start drawing my name so Miz Ooh, missed off the top of the S there Faramond now as you can see Using the brush tool to write with is not great, but today's lesson isn't about making a perfect name. It's about you learning how to use the absolute basics of this little lovely online package. And over the course of the next few lessons, you will learn more and more complicated skills. And then hopefully by the end of the week, you'll be able to create something quite impressive. Okay, so there is my name, Ms. Foreign One. Now, as you can see, it's been drawn with quite a thin brush and it's in this blue colour and I just want to show you how to change both of those so down the bottom here is the colour selection um, sometimes depending on what um, what size window you're using this might be down here there might be a double sided list of icons but on mine it's just right at the bottom if I double click on that I can go to the colours so I might change it to a pinky colour next or actually I might go with yellow as yellow is my favourite colour you can move it about to get different shades of yellow um, I'll use that one um, in class we talked about RGB um, colours so you can play about with the numbers there you should remember how to do those from, from when we got taught that in lesson and I'm going to press OK now I can start drawing with that and again it's changed the colour but it's still the same thickness up here I can change the size and other aspects of my brush tool so I can choose maybe pencil shade I can make the size a little bit bigger I can make the hardness oh no I can't make the hardness less there and then I'm going to have a little, little play with that so you can see that there's different effects being made with that one I'll go back into there, I'll maybe change it to that, make it maybe a little bit thinner and have a little go doing that one, so that's quite ooh. and then I'll go back into there, maybe use a big round one, oh no actually I'll use one of these, maybe make the size quite big, oh that looks, that looks too big, make it a bit smaller, let's have a little go. Ooh okay so essentially I'd like you to do that I just want you to have a little practice and a little play of using the brush tool so just to summarize there's the brush tool there double click on that to change your colors and go up here and then this little drop down menu here to change the shape and the hardness and the size etc okay just to have a little go once you've done that and you've had a little practice and a little play of all of the different features you then need to save it okay so I want you to go to file and export I want you to export it as a JPEG so that you can upload it to Google Classroom to me okay if you wanted to continue working on this file another time you would save it as a PSD and then you would open that back up so you'd be able to carry on playing about with it but as this is a little short task I want you to just go to export and export it as a JPEG okay it opens up like this when you want to export it again there's lots of little features here which I'll talk through another lesson but I just want to click on save it's 
um, dropped it down there for me. I'm going to click on um, show in folder. And there it is there, new project. Um, I don't like that name, so I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to rename it um, Brush Tool Experimentation. Okay, and I'm going to stick that in my documents so that I know where to find it next time. Now, if you were really good, you'd maybe put it in a folder inside your documents, maybe called Photo P, so that you're able to find it again. I'm just going to whack it in there, paste it in there. There it is down there. And I'm going to close off that now. Right. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert it into your Google Classroom assignment. Have fun.